Elevate Jiu Jitsu Mag presents Ask a Lady Black Belt. Our Black Belt panel consists of Cindy Hills out of Linwood, Washington, Mary White McClary out of Brunswick, Georgia, and Caitlin Huggins out of Pineville, North Carolina. Hi, this is Cindy Hales, and I got a question from Sakshi. It's regarding training, and how do I find really good training if there's no higher belts, or people my, my I guess, level or size in the gym? Do I like training with lower belts? Um, honestly, I really like training with everyone. I find value in training with everyone. I like to train with kids. I like to train with adults. Um, I like to tr pretty much train with everyone. I do get a little nervous with bigger people, but. Uh, I think if you have good boundaries and good standards and a good good vibe in your gym, you should be able to train safely with every person and, you know, get value out of it. It's really what you put into it and the mindset that you bring with it. Um, there's always ways that you can adjust the sparring or work on certain positions. So, like I said, especially nowadays during the coronavirus time, man, I'll take training with anyone, okay? So, yeah, I hope that helps and, you know, always looking for the positives and things and seeing where you can get value um, in any situation. That's what I think is kind of my biggest lesson in Jiu Jitsu and it's related to this question. So I think it's a great question and really like we're looking for how can we get the best training no matter the situation, okay? So yeah, thanks for the question and have a great day. Hi, I'm Mary McCleary. I'm a black belt under Scott Devine. I train here in Brunswick, Georgia. I run our women's program for our self-defense and jiu-jitsu at Divine Jiu-Jitsu. Do I consider training with lower belts when there aren't higher belts around still hard training? And the answer is yes. Um, everybody has something to offer. Uh, just because you're used to training with higher belts and you know getting your butt kicked every day doesn't mean that training with lower belts isn't gonna be nice and refreshing and still hard to train. Um, everybody has something to offer you and everybody's going to be good at something. So when I train with lower belts, I work on things that I'm bad at and what are they good at? I would feel more comfortable putting myself in a really bad position with a lower belt or a less experienced person than I would putting myself in a bad position with a higher belt that's more experienced than myself. Hey everyone. This is Caitlin Huggins, a black belt out of Top Martial Arts, an affiliate under Herberto Trivin. Do you consider training with lower belts when there's no upper belts at the time still hard training? And this question is kind of multifaceted, so I'll start with the first part. Uh, do I consider training with lower belts when there's no upper belts? Of course I do, because I don't want anybody to feel like they're not worth training with. I mean, if they're being disrespectful, that's one thing, but if they just don't feel confident because they're a lower belt, like, they're a waste of my time. I don't want anyone to feel that way. Um, and it's up to me as an upper belt to figure out ways to push myself uh, when there aren't upper belts around in the role. Um, if I'm just playing my A game on a white belt, that's not gonna help me and that's not gonna help them. Uh, so it's up to me to be creative and find ways to uh, push myself with lower belts. Um, like, I can try things I've never tried before, uh, you know, and I can also see what the lower belts are going to do. And, of course, if they do stupid stuff, it's an opportunity for me to help them out. And in helping them out, um, that creates a better training partner for me in the long run. So there are different things I'll, I'll do to try and uh, push myself with people who are lower belts or maybe smaller than me um, by not playing my A game and <laughs> trying to challenge myself with techniques I struggle with. Um, so the next part of that question is, since there are not many female black belts or even brown belts, how does a female black belt find good training? Oh, well, my regular training partners are CJ and Josh Murdoch, uh, and they're very active uh, black belt competitors, and they don't cut me any slack at all. Um, especially because, like, I'm not, uh, I guess, a super small lady, so uh, I don't think there's a huge difference in how you train with men versus women. It's more about size and maybe technique and style, and if you've rolled with me, you know that 
Um, I have a very pressury, very smashy style. So sometimes I find that um, maybe more uh, men like to train with me in certain situations. Uh, again, not because of gender, but simply because of size and style. So uh, it's not really hard for me to find training as far as gender goes, but I will say that it is hard to find the style of a very technical upper belt woman because they don't roll the same as men. So when I come into those situations where I might have to face a really good guardera, um, I'll try and cross train at other places if I can, uh, even if it's just a little bit of training because I'm not going to find those type of training partners um, like your <laughs> question implied in many places. So uh, you have to travel sometimes um, or you have to find, uh, you have to try and find men that emulate those styles. Of course it's not the same, but you got to do what you got to do and make the best of what you have. And sometimes that's the best advice I can give anyone in whatever their training situation. Make the best of what you have with your training partner, um, with your whatever schools are in your area, if you have opportunities to cross train, do. Some schools put a lot of pressure on people to not, um, but if you can, <laughs> do. Uh, and if you can travel, travel and cross train, especially if you're a lady. And there are women's only open mats. And there are opportunities to go to black belt women's seminars. Go. You're not gonna find those opportunities very often, at least not right now, but that might change. So, um, <laughs> I hope this uh, answered y'all's questions. And if y'all have any more questions, uh, maybe Nicole and Denise will do another one of these. Uh, thank you for your questions, ladies, and um, I hope to see you guys soon. I miss you all so much, and I can't wait to train with you all again.